everyone, and welcome back to the Brugly channel. I'm your host, as always, Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Backrooms Level 44, aka the Corroding Retail Outlet. Now, this level is connected to reality in some very strange ways, so if you want to figure out how, well, I'm about to talk about it. Thanks for watching, and let's hop right into the video. Also, a huge announcement. I am starting a third channel called Spoogly, where I'm going to be doing SCP readings, cryptid encounters, and disappearances from national parks. Those videos will be long formatted, they'll be chill and laid back. The link will be down below. I'm uploading the first SCP reading at 1,000 subscribers, so I'm super excited for the content that's going to be going up over there. It's going to be awesome. Hope you're hype, hope you're ready, and let's get into this video. Backrooms level 44 is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe with a pretty low entity count. And the entities are not the dangerous part of the level. The level is thought to quote, be intrinsically connected with the front rooms, or with real life. It looks like a completely bare and empty mall outlet that's kind of run down, but it also kind of looks like a big office space. Only half the lights work, but the half that does work doesn't make that loud buzzing that most of the backrooms levels make, especially level zero. Now, the lights do buzz a little bit, but not nearly as loud as the other lights, which is important because that buzz is a huge part of the backrooms, and for this level not to have it, it's worth documenting. There are window entities in the darker sections of the levels, but so far nothing bad has happened near them, nothing too bad at least, so they're considered pretty safe. Now all of the active window entities here show moving pictures of real life behind them, so if you look out of them, you'll see kind of like a slideshow of real life, and that's why this level is connected to reality. There's actually a theory that the windows themselves are some kind of gateway back to the world, but no test have been done to show it and I'm not trying to jump through a window just because I see the real world. If I've learned one thing, it's to not trust the backrooms. This entire level has been classified as non-Euclidean, meaning that traveling and mapping out and just looking at the level is pretty much impossible since the layouts are always changing, and if you walk in one direction, you'll end up in a completely different direction than the way you walked. And on this level specifically, the glitchy non-Euclidean effects get worse the further you get from the level entrance. So where you spawn in on the level won't be too bad, but the further you wander out, the worse this effect will get, so you might not be able to find your way back, just watch out. Like I said earlier, this level is completely empty and barren, there's literally nothing here, and that's still true, except there is a weird fluid that's made up of unknown atomic compounds. And this fluid is in a bunch of different rooms on this level, and it looks kind of like liquid coal. It's a thick black liquid, it's very viscous and acidic, and it has the ability to corrode cardboard and wood uh, quickly. And in some cases, it's actually been seen dissolving the walls and ceilings of this level, uh, yeah, that's pretty weird, I gotta be honest. So it goes without saying that you should avoid it at all costs. Now as far as creatures go on the level, it's actually pretty decently rare to see a creature, but when there is one, it's most likely gonna be a wrangler. Now wranglers are these huge things with a bunch of arms that burrow down into the ground and stalk their prey. I've done a full short on them, so I'll link that below. But in the darker parts of the hallways or rooms, there can actually be any entity from the back rooms, it's just that the wrangler is the most common. Now those window entities that I talked about earlier also have a really, really strange effect because recently there's been multiple witnesses saying that they saw a silhouette figure behind the window pane. It's only showed up when the situation that the wanderer was in was really anxious or tense. And when you look at it, you get really weird feelings of liminality and anxiety. Nobody really knows what this silhouette is or why it's here, but it's thought that it could represent a person's fear about not being in reality. Either way, it's really creepy to just have a random shadow behind a window in, a, in, the, in the back rooms. I mean, that's that's creepy. And the entity has sometimes shown that it can talk with a wanderer through short, repeated phrases like, he is destroying my home, he is going to bring doom to us all, only when you escape can you find him, reality will shatter 
ladder along with my home. This place has lost its safety. You must stop him before he takes over. So, I mean, that's pretty terrifying to listen to. It's also really vague, and no one really knows what it means. And also, the context of those phrases doesn't make any sense, because there's nothing actually too dangerous about this current level that we can see. I don't know, maybe the shadow can see something we can't. Maybe it's trying to warn you of something. Not sure, man. There's only one outpost here from Meg, and they try to study that thick, corrosive liquid from earlier, and around 20 people live in this outpost. And to enter the level, you can walk through a randomly appearing metal door on level 0, and to exit, you can go back through a similar metal door, which will lead you this time to level 9 or 11. Good stuff! So yeah, that was Backrooms Level 44. Only six more to go to round out the Brugley Summer Spectacular, where I went over levels 13 through 50. It's really been a blast so far, and I'm so, so appreciative of you all supporting it, enjoying it, leaving likes and comments, and just thank you for everything. The channel is literally just booming, and I'm so thankful for you all. Thank you so much for listening and watching. You guys are the best fans, and I just really appreciate you. Make sure to check the links below for Toogly and the new channel, Spoogly, which, like I said earlier, at the top of the video, I'm going to be dropping the first video over there at 1k subs. It's going to be SCP readings, cryptid encounter readings, and just strange national park disappearances. It won't be true crime or anything like that because that's not my cup of tea, but it will be just weird disappearances that involve cryptids or aliens and that kind of stuff. I love that stuff, and it's just going to blend together perfectly with the SCP stuff. So the video type is going to be really chill. It'll be my face mainly with just slight editing. So if you want to just kick on a video in the background, those kind of videos will be the perfect thing for you. I think you're going to love it. Anyways, thank you all so much. Like I said, stay tuned for more. I have so much planned for this channel, all my channels. I hope you're hype, and I will see you later. Peace.